Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today I'm going to talk about one of my twin passions, if you like. Obviously I'm a bit of a fish geek, or I wouldn't go to the trouble of making a YouTube channel all about it, but also quite like the photography side of things, and combining the two, taking pictures and videos of your fish. Yeah, that's kind of what today's video is going to be about. How can we do that a little bit easier? Not going to necessarily talk about how to take the best picture, because I'm not the best photographer in the world. It's more about how to get them into a position where you can actually take a bleeding picture. For instance, if you have a quite a skittish fish, as I do with my discus sometimes, when I come up to the tank to do some cleaning, so I've just done my water changes today, they kind of keep out my way. Um, other times they're more boisterous. Uh, sometimes one particular fish will be getting in the shot all the time and another one just is not interested. So something I'm fairly new to, because I've only really been using them for the past six months or so, is a sticky foods. So sticky tablets, for instance. I've got a few different varieties here in the olden days. So for years I would use things like the freeze-dried worms. So I've got some tube effects here where you can dip it a little bit to wet it, get it a bit spongier you can press it to the glass and then the fish would come up and they would nibble at it and as they were coming up they'd be in and around the right area you can get in there with your camera and start taking the pictures that you want to take and you can usually get some quite good shots that way the trouble i've found with these is they don't stay stuck very long uh, and when they do stay stuck they can be quite messy so i've always found the fish quite like these i don't know why but mine are going off them recently um, and that was one of the reasons I started researching some of the other sticky tablets. So you get these little sticky tabs. I've got three different varieties here, and these are the ones that I sell on my website. Isn't it horrible when you have to get an advert involved before you can see anything? So these are the ones that I've been using. I've got a colour pellet, I've got a tropical pellet, and I've got a spirulina pellet. They're effectively the same thing, whereas the tropical pellet, if you like, is the base one with all the the main ingredients that you want. Spirulina is heavy on spirulina. The colour ones are heavy on the colour additives. Um, so I thought we'd do a little bit of a test. Each of the pellets, get them on the discus tank, and we'll see who bites, so to speak. Kind of prime territory for a time lapse here, so we'll see how we get on. Um, what I've found in the past is that the flying silver sharks really love this, and these are really hard um, fish to photograph because they're so skittish and so fast they very rarely stay in the same place for any amount of time so I'll go and stick them all um, we'll go spirulina colour, tropical and the freeze dried to be fixed we'll see how we get on with that so let me get these set up for you so one thing I quite like about these pellets are they are very sticky and easy to stick quite often or one of my biggest complaints about the freeze-dried foods where if you could get them to stick, they didn't stay stuck. It's almost like a tongue twister. So hopefully these are all still in shot. Um, but you just kind of press them in, you see the air bubbles getting released. And that should stay stuck for a while, hopefully. And then I'll get the lights back in position and I'll get the hell out of the way so they can come and feed. Okay, that went well. So as soon as I stuck them up there, all the discus came along and went for the tubiflex straight away just to prove me a liar. Um, and obviously, as you can see, it's been knocked off. Then the card filled up. It didn't record anything else. So in the time between me going to get a new card, the tubiflex is gone. It's still there. You can see it floating around up there. It's just not stuck anymore. So, when well, it's literally been 30 seconds or something like that. So we've still got the spirulina, the colour and the tropical flakes there. But I think I've just scared everything again. But the, as you can see, the silver sharks love them. We're really going town on the tropical one at the moment. And this is what I'm talking about. It lets you... Get a little bit closer, scare them away, obviously. And even if you're not trying to take a picture of them, I'll let you get a little bit closer and check out your fish. So, 
so I can take this chance to see is it looking healthy, is all its fins look okay no nasty marks, no injuries no cloudy eyes, clamped fins, all those kind of normal things you would look out for and obviously because this has been filmed they're not going to do it now but what generally happens is the sharks come out have a bit of a feed on the pellets and then the discus go, oh right so it is food after all and they'll come along I don't think it's necessarily something I would use as a staple diet for my discus but as you can see they don't mind having a go either but there's no, it's not a bad ingredient I know some so obviously I sell these particular pellets and I know some pellets uh, people complain that they're just full of fillers and things like that um, I don't think that's the case here I quite like these ones in that they don't disintegrate as fast as some other brands that I've tried um, they don't cloud the water too much he says looking at a very cloudy tank um, but <laughs> they don't, I generally use one at a time I must admit they don't cloud the water too much, they don't disintegrate straight away, which is something that other ones have done in the past. And they stay stuck, which is something other ones haven't done in the past. And I kind of use them for all my fish. So if I've got, well it's this tank, uh, whether it's the angel tank downstairs, one of the guppy tanks, whatever tank it is, one of these pellets will do a job. And I know that they're not a bad quality food either, so as well as doing a job of letting me see the fish or photograph the fish I also feed them and know they get fed quite well so I'd say the tropical pellet, the one on the right, is getting the most attention at the moment but as much as I love my discus I do think they are a bit of a a dim, nice but dim fish they'll generally go after whatever someone else is eating I've seen them do this with beef heart, with frozen foods where put in two or three cubes worth one of them will latch onto one cube and they'll all fight over that one cube leaving the other two completely alone at the other side of the tank So that was a bit of an interesting one I was hoping when I started this video to say ah look they all prefer the colour one or they all prefer the spirulina one but it didn't really happen in the discus tank, so I took it down here to the fish room and I've rerun the test with some of the guppy tanks. I can't really see a winner, so I guess it's more about what do I want to feed the fish. So they all seem to do the same trick. Uh, I am glad that they've gone for the tubiflex again, but it just doesn't stick very well, so I would rule that out as the winner. In terms of the sticky showdown, I just can't really call it between the three that I've got in stock at the minute. So they're all equally good, it's more a case of, right, if I'm going to use the colourful one then I might not use that with my white fish or yellow fish because it might colour them up a little bit too much. If I feel something might be lacking in spirulina for instance, I'd use that one and then the kind of tropical ones in the middle for a one size fits all if you like. So I thought I'd end it up with a little bit of a recap from maybe my last video or one before that where I had the fish order. They're all in here now, no more deaths for the last couple of days um, since we got them in. I think the ones that we've got that have pulled through have pulled through really well. They're starting to look really strong again, so whew, it wasn't a complete loss. So I thought we'd end this off with me sticking a, a tab in each tank because we've got a ton. So I thought we'd end it off with me sticking a tab in each of the tanks and we can show off the ton of fry that we've got going in these ones specifically I also got myself a label machine I've never been happier so I've been messing around with the lights in these tanks as well so it might be a slightly different lighting than you'll have seen in previous videos so that's a bit of a closer look at what you get as you see there, as they come along and pick at it these are the blue star endlers some big chunks and some small chunks come off and it's really quite good for the fry as well because they can get some smaller chunks too there's a ton of maybe day or two day old fry in this tank at the moment I 
and then if we go over to the, the tiger endlers as you can see similar sort of deal all the fry in here they can just pick off at it and it, they get the little tiny bits as and when they come off one other thing that's happened as I have changed the lights over here is I left them on for two days so a ton of algae as well so that's my next job we want for the weekend is scrubbing the algae off so really happy with these tanks getting a ton of fry in all the tanks and I'm sure more to come let's have a look at the wilds so this is the one with the to be fixed at the minute nobody really paying that much attention at the moment And what I found with the tube effects, and again, one of the reasons I started looking into the tablets is it'll stick forever until something starts eating at it and then it just pops off and floats away, gets clogged in your filter or whatever it is. When the, the tablets fall off, if they ever do, they just sink. So it gives all the bottom feeding fish a chance. Now, nobody's really going for it in here, but I really like the look of these wild guppies. Some crazy colours on them. And then we've got some blonde blush. Snails taking a liking to them. So these are blonde blush endlers. And again, crazy colours on the males. I'd find it really hard to identify females by strain or line because they all look very similar. It's the males that are the striking ones, obviously. But imagine a big tank full of them. That would look epic. In fact, it would look a bit like this. Again, a bit of a funny lighting going on because I've been moving the lights around. I'm not sure I'm completely happy with that, but... That's what you call a feeding frenzy, isn't it? So there you go, hope you found that at least a little bit useful. Um, it's a trick I've been using for a while now with all different types of foods. These ones work really well. Another tip I've found quite useful, and I know I've just called my discus stupid, but if you have only got one tank, um, if you feed consistently in the same place, your fish will learn that that's dinner time. It's, well, it's that Pavlovian response where they always come up to the same spot. So if you always drop your food in at the same corner, you coming up here and putting your hand here and then stepping back to take a picture, your fish will be up there. Um, they're the kind of techniques that I've used most often when I'm trying to get pictures of fish. Works pretty well. Um, but you know, just another chance to show off some of my fish. So as always, I hope you found some kind of use in there. If you do like this kind of thing, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. Also wanted to say a quick word and a quick thank you to everyone for getting me over that 10,000 subscriber milestone. It's still can't quite believe that there are 10,000 people out there willing to watch me fart about with fish, but really grateful and really happy. It's, it's, it does mean a lot. It's great that everyone has subscribed. I'm rambling now because I don't really know how to say thank you, but thank you. As always, if you're new here and this is your first time here, click on that subscribe button. It does really help me out. It makes me feel happy. Um, hopefully you're finding something useful here. Um, but thanks for watching all the same and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.